Hey guys and gals, Effie here. This is my January recap. I've never done anything like this before, so you'll have to pardon me if I ramble a little bit. Uh, it is Saturday morning. The house is nice and quiet, other than the dogs milling about downstairs. Uh, my partners are sleeping, and uh, yeah, I'm just kind of... Oh, excuse me. You're supposed to be downstairs. Go on. That's a good boy. Interruptions, right? <laughs> so I just wanted to go over kind of what we've been doing together over the last month. Uh, we've done a few book reviews, of course. I think I've put out so far. I've done four. I have not published them all. So basically what happened was I read some books. A couple of them I liked, a couple of them I didn't really, and I reviewed them all. And then I went back and started editing them and realized that the book reviews for the books that I didn't like did not turn out the way that I wanted. Uh, I was worried about coming off as a jerk, right? Like, that's somebody's work that you're criticizing. And, and that's okay. I think it's absolutely okay to criticize art. I think it's okay to say, this is not perfect. Here's why. I think that's fine. Um, what is not okay is being rude. What is not okay is um, denigrating somebody's effort. And the tone I wanted to strike, I, I wanted to be professional about it, right? And so in doing so, I got myself really nervous. Mm. So I thought, oh, I'll just write myself a script and that'll take care of it, right? Well, the problem was, I'm not, uh, I have no acting skills, right? Like I, <laughs> I have no practice memorizing lines for a stage. So uh, I wrote the script and then I read the script with a camera in my face and it was very stiff and very formal and I'm a little robotic anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not like this in real life. I'm very shy. And so, you know, talking to you guys like this, when I know that people are going to be watching, I get nervous. And uh, so I come off as a little robotic sometimes and reading a script made that so <laughs> much worse. It was so bad. So, um, oh goodness, sorry, my eyes water in the morning. Uh, anyway, so I, I was reading the script and it was terrible. Not that, not that the script was bad, the script was fine. I was saying what I wanted to say, but not in the way that I wanted to say it. So I'm going to re-record those and then talk to you guys about them uh, after I've had a chance to re-record and edit them. And I'll probably re-record them after I get them with this. But uh, so yeah, uh, we've, we've read four books and reviewed two. <laughs> I'll review the other two shortly. And then um, y this is my my pile, my ever-growing pile of what I had planned to read in February. And originally it was just these two. It was just The Savior Sister, which is the follow-up to The Savior's Champion, and I posted a review for that already. And then it was Rebel's Creed, which is the follow-up to uh, Breach of Peace, which is Daniel Green's book. Um, the Savior's Champion was okay, and Breach of Peace I loved. Um, and I know not everybody did, but I really liked it. I liked the way he writes. I liked the way he uses language. Um, so I was just going to read those two and then this cute little tiny short stories, right? This little, the Bloody Chambers is, is short stories, fables, uh, retold from a different perspective, if you will. Um, and I knew that I would like it because the preview I saw, I liked the way that the language was used. I liked the, the way that sentences were used. Um, so that was my plan. And then I saw this Road of Bones, this, um... Christopher Golden, I think, wrote it, and I saw that on Twitter, and I was like, oh, that looks really interesting. So I picked it up, I was like, oh, it's not, it's not that long, you know, it's, it's pretty thin, so I can get that in there. And then one of you, and I don't know who it was, because you didn't get, include a note or tell me who you were, uh, sent me this. This is Alaska by James Mishner, and you must have been around for a while, whoever you were. Uh, because when I was a kid, we lived in Alaska for three years, and it was one of my dad's longest duty stations. And um, I really loved it, and I have a lot of really fond memories of it. So whoever you are, thank you for sending that to me. I really wish that you would tell me or had included a note so I could thank you properly, but uh, I really appreciate that. Um, I, didn't, I did not expect... How do I put this? It was recommended to me by a friend who's a bit more successful on YouTube than I am that I include a uh, Amazon wish list or whatever at the bottom of my description. 
and he said, don't worry about it. It's not going to feel like, because I'm like, you know, I, I don't really, I can buy my own books. Like I'm not, uh, I'm not struggling with buying my own books. It's fine. I can, I can afford to buy them at the pace that I read them. He's like, no, 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 it's not about that. It's about your audience being able to have an influence over what you're reading. It's about them being able to participate in what happens next. So I took his advice and I included it and apparently one of you found it and sent me this. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate it, whoever you are. Um, and I look forward to reading it, but the likelihood that I'm going to get through, how long is this? 868 pages <laughs> in 28 days and all the rest of them that I had planned is unlikely. So uh, Alaska is probably going to be a March or April read. I may read it um, when I go down to Texas to visit my family in April because we have a big family reunion every April. Uh, after Easter. So that may be when that one gets read, but I wanted to say thank you for doing that. Um, if that's something that you are interested in doing and uh, you want to send me a book or, you know, some coffee or chocolate or <laughs> just want to terrorize me in general, <laughs> all that information is down in the bottom. Um, yeah, so that's, that's basically, that's what I did last month and that's basically what my plan is for next month. And uh, yeah, glad you guys are along for the ride. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time.